Okay, Yanko, congratulations. Um, you're in the semi-final. You must be pleased. I Yes, I am. I think I'm playing good. I beat the number one player in the world. I managed to beat Gilles Simon, who I've never beaten before. Playing good, playing aggressive. I, there's you know, nothing more I can want. Obviously, you seem to um, always give Novak a tough match, don't you? But he's generally got the better of you. What was it today that kind of sort of gave you the extra edge? I know you beat him in London a couple of years ago. But... Um, I feel when I beat him the first time in, in London, I started to, to believe that I could do it again. You know, and that's one of the biggest things against, well, at least the top four in the world right now. Uh, the difference was, I feel today that I managed to to keep my cool in the second set. I was focused. Uh, he was the first one who kind of gave me his serve, like with three or four unforced errors. And uh, I felt that I was a little bit lucky in the first set, managing to save like four, five, six break points. And uh, then somehow managed to close it in two sets. You're having a great season. You kind of an established top ten player now, isn't it? Do you feel like you belong in the top ten now? Uh, well, Yes and no. This this result is really, you know, uh, making me believe that I, I really belong there because beating good players on, on top events is what is being top ten all about. But it's it's still a long it's a long season. It's a long way, you know, you have guys like Isner and Del Potro and uh, and Marty Fish and Almagro and who are playing just great tennis, you know, but if I manage to play big on big events, I, I'm starting to feel more and more that I belong here. Okay, brilliant. Now just a question on your potential semi-final opponents. Firstly, Roger Federer. We know all about him, but what, what's your view of him? I feel that he is maybe the most dangerous player on this surface because he's not really defending too much, is he? He's really going for his serve and his forehand. So I feel that the aggressive part of him is really going to be tough. You know, to, to play out there. Whether David Ferrer, I mean, this this guy is probably the biggest fighter on tour, and no matter the circumstances, the surface, the weather, whatever, he's just gonna give you a, a, a tough and horrible time on court if you want to beat him. You know, so whoever I play, you know, it's it's not going to be too much different than 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 today. You know, I'm gonna play either the you know greatest player in the history of the sport or the world, world number five or six or whatever. So I feel I have to continue playing good if I want to win my semi-final match. That's the, it's, it's as simple as it is.